Some other residents are speaking out about what they say is a nuisance in their neighborhood. The city is allowing tow companies to use three lots, including this one, near the old Ever Beach fire station. And the residents tell us they're attracting criminals. And when they originally asked police to do something about it, they were told officers could not make an arrest. So we asked Jen Beniza to look into it. She learned the city has taken steps to address the problem. Jen? Dash, the Ever Beach neighborhood board says the city has addressed some of its concerns, but they want more to be done. EVA NEIGHBORHOOD BOARD MEMBER KURT FAVELLA SHOWED ME THESE PICTURES. HE SAYS A RESIDENT TOOK THEM RIGHT BEFORE CALLING POLICE. FAVELLA TELLS ME HPD STOPPED THE PEOPLE, BUT WERE UNABLE TO ARREST THEM BECAUSE THERE WERE NO SIGNS WARNING PEOPLE TO STAY OUT, AND THE OFFICER DIDN'T KNOW WHO OWNED THE VEHICLE. THE NEIGHBORHOOD BOARD SAYS THE CITY HAS ADDRESSED ONE OF THEIR CONCERNS BY PUTTING UP THIS SIGN. The signs allow HPD to arrest anyone beyond the fence for trespassing. But Favela says it's not enough. I don't care how much signs you put, I don't care what you put. If they can go over there and they're going to make a quick buck by stealing something, they're going to do it. And they've been doing it at West Lock, they've been doing it in villages. The city declined to go on camera, but in a statement said the Department of Customer Services has hired security guards to watch these abandoned vehicles. But the city also says that not all three locations have security. I reached out to council member Kimberly Marcos Pines for answers. We are tr trying to get them out of our communities, which is why it is temporarily acceptable. A letter from the city to council member Pine on July 21st states the city has taken steps to temporarily store vehicles for a period of up to six months. So why are these vehicles being stored here for so long? The Council Members Service Relief Act, or SCRA, prohibits vehicles owned by military members to be sold at auction. The city has until January 21st, 2018, to remove all 182 of the vehicles stored in the lots. What more do you think could be done or should be done to address this issue? Well, I think the bigger issue is that I feel that military leaders in the state of Hawaii are not caring about this issue and how it has affected Hawaii residents. A military leader can very easily instruct the people in, under their command to take care of their cars, but they're not doing that. The city says it's paying more than $2,200 per week for security at the overflow lots. I reached out to the military to find out what is being done to prevent military personnel from abandoning the vehicles. I'll let you know when they respond. Marissa, back to you.